Once you have equipment symbols added to your AutoCAD PNID drawing, you add schematic lines to represent the pipe. Unlike standard AutoCAD lines and polylines, schematic lines store a great deal of data. This data includes information such as the size of the pipe, the system, the pipe material, and more. The behavior is similar to a polyline, but the schematic line is much more specific, and therefore much, much more useful. Let's add a few examples to our project. Start by selecting the Lines tool palette. The palette includes several examples of pipeline types and instrument lines. Select the Primary Line Segment tool. Pick a point on the middle pump as shown. Draw a segment straight up. At the end of the segment, an arrow will appear. This represents the flow direction of the pipe, and it can be changed as needed. Select a point perpendicular to the tank. Since the schematic line tool recognizes the tank as an ending point for a pipeline segment, it automatically adds a nozzle and ends the command. The nozzle can be a flange double or single line connection, an assumed point, or a front facing connection. To change to a different type of a connection, select the nozzle. Use the highlighted grip to display the different connection types. We'll leave it as the double line default for now. Let's add another primary line segment. Pick the connection on the top pump as shown. Draw a segment straight up and then to the right stopping about halfway along the original pipe segment. After selecting this point, drop the line straight down until a perpendicular snap appears on the main line segment. The pipe segment command will be complete. We'll add one more segment from the pump at the bottom as shown. Start from the discharge connection. If you are using the Object Snap Tracking tool in AutoCAD, move your mouse over the last connection, then track down to place the second point. This helps you align the pipe segments. You need to make sure you have the Object Snap Tracking turned on, so check this before you start adding schematic line segments. Draw the last segment up and complete the connection. Now, we need to test the work we've done and see if we've created a correctly defined system. Select the first primary line segment you created. When it's picked, both the target equipment, the tank, and the source equipment, the pump, are highlighted. This shows us that we've created a pipe connection correctly. Not all systems are closed, but this helps us track parts in the database between the parts. What happens if I draw a pipeline segment in the wrong direction? Sometimes it's easier to start from an ending point. Select the primary line segment tool and then pick the suction point on pump P200. Draw the line segment straight to the tank and the connection will be made. Once the pipe is placed, you edit it by selecting it. Right click and select the schematic line edit tool. From the flyout, pick the reverse flow tool. The flow direction is now correct. Not all lines have to be drawn at right angles. From the Home tab, Schematic Line Panel, select the Ortho toggle. This toggle overrides the default AutoCAD Ortho and Polar Snap settings and forces schematic lines to be drawn at right angles, regardless of how line or polylines are drawn. Since this is a toggle, you can turn the feature back on at any time. If you have a series of older diagrams that were drawn as AutoCAD lines or polylines, you can convert these lines to schematic lines easily. In this drawing, there are a series of lines and arcs created in the lower left corner of the drawing. To convert these to schematic lines, select them and then right click. From the menu, select the Convert to PNID Object tool. When the dialog appears, the section for lines will already be expanded. 
select a primary line segment option under the pipeline segments. The lines are now schematic lines and are tracked in the project. Depending on how the lines were originally drawn, in this case as copied lines and arcs, the direction arrows may be incorrect. Each arrow is an individual object, so you can delete these as needed. Lines are created as individual segments, while polylines are created as a single segment. To make lines a single segment, convert them to a joined polyline prior to converting them to a PNID object. Another option is to use the Join tool, available under the Schematic Line Edit tools. Select the first line and then right click. Under Schematic Line Edit, select the Join tool. Begin to pick the lines in sequence until all segments have been joined. Any missing arrows will be added back to the line and the flow direction will be correctly defined. Now that you have line segments defined, you can add inline accessories to the segment as needed and complete this portion of the diagram.